Hey guys and welcome to World of Warships with Bulu. Today I've got a replay from uh, my yesterday's uh, random battles in the World of Warships. I'm playing the T7 with Kavitsa and uh, I've uh, been put in a match that is mainly consisting of uh, tier 6s and tier 5s. So I'm, uh, I'm a happy bunny and uh, it might actually, I'm, I have got a feeling that it might be one of them. Uh, seal clubbing videos again. I'm going towards this island uh, expecting uh, enemy destroyers to show up. There are two enemy destroyers, both of them tier 5. One of them is the Minikaze and uh, the other one is uh, the Fujin, which is the premium version of the Minikaze that was available a couple of weeks ago. So I was kind of sneaking up behind this island. I wanted to use it for cover as long as possible and now that I'm getting out, uh, I get a better look at what's going on on the enemy side and looks like uh, there's only one uh, German Königsberg cruiser and that's all, the rest must have went down south so that's what I'm writing in the, in the chat hoping that I get the allies to, to follow me and uh, that's where the Königsbergs pop into my uh, spotting range I'm being spotted by them now and I can see that he's turning his guns towards me, so uh, I don't have much time, but I open up a couple of times on uh, on it using uh, HE and AP mixes. Um, AP isn't doing that well. I get hit and set on fire, but I do not uh, use the extinguisher yet. I'm just uh, setting up smoke first, making sure that I'm hidden. Get hit again. And now that I'm in smoke and uh, I, there is no chance I'm gonna get spotted again for a while, I repair my damage and uh, move on to the next uh, target, which is the incoming Fujin, 5.5 kilometers. Uh, this should be an easy kill. Um, I'm not even uh, going to try to maneuver too hard because I have a feeling that uh, the Fujin is going to try to torpedo the um, friendly destroyer, and there it is, the Nicholas. So he's, he's stopping him now, uh, the Nicholas is dead, but uh, so is the Fujin, there is no way he's going to escape me now. Uh, the torpedo reload on the Fujin, uh, I'm guessing it is the same as on the Minikaze, but uh, yeah, there's no chance he can make it. So now I'm thinking the next target should be, my, uh, should be New Mexico. I'm almost within torpedo range and it looks like New Mexico is moving out on the slow but it uh, in a straight line, so uh, I'm moving to that smoke. Um, I'm instantly disappearing, and this is the moment where the enemy carrier makes a really surprising drop on me. I, I wasn't expecting that. I thought that these the torpedo bombers were empty, so I am not only managed to escape it. Uh, I'm keeping my AA on because I'm in the smoke right now, and as you can see, my, my spotted icon does not light up. Uh, and this is where the Furutaka shows up, only 5 kilometers away, it's uh, just perfect ground for me, perfect target. And since she's so close, uh, I'm going to use my AP on, on the Furutaka as well, for at least as long as uh, it's being spotted. So, I take aim. And those AP shells, they're basically supposed to be a distraction, you know, if you get hit like so as heavy as, as the Furutaka did just now, you start looking around, you, you don't care about maneuvering as, as much, you just want to establish where the threat is and that's how you miss the incoming torpedoes and get yourself killed. Okay, so now with the full attack I've gone, I'm looking for uh, other targets. Um, I see that carrier in the north, but... I mean, it, it is tempting, but that carrier is not going to make a big contribution to... Um, the enemy teams win, uh, not at this stage, at least he, he must have already had an engagement with the friendly carrier. Uh, there must have been some kind of an exchange, maybe he's low on planes already. So yeah, um, yeah, he's not a big threat. So I'm lo I look at the map and I see a cruiser coming in, moving in on the, on the far side of the bigger island, of the two islands uh, south to me, and the moment I spot him I... Uh, I check it out, it's a Miyoko and uh, I take him as my next target. So I want to do the similar thing as with the Furutaka, the islands 
right in front of me they provide a the perfect cover I can uh, get really close and as long as the bomber above the Miyoko is spotting it for me I can uh, move behind those islands and still use the prediction cone of the torpedo um, targeting cone um, to basically gauge the Miyoko's progress and you know know when I should be turning and you know pre preparing for, for attack. So I launched the launched those torpedoes. The second one is a bit blind, but you know I remember exactly where it was. AP loaded again, and uh, I want to do the same thing. Use the AP as a distraction and take the uh, Miyoko out. So she takes she eats two of my tor torpedoes. I actually mess up this volley. It, uh, it's unbelievable. Two and a half kilometers, and I can't shoot too straight. And um, yeah, that's the Miyoko gun. So. Uh, so far we've had a uh, destroyer and two cruisers killed and I'm close enough to the what is this uh, Nuremberg I'm close enough to the Nuremberg to um, open up on it and I'm being spotted regardless of whether or not I'm shooting so I, you know, there's, there's see no point in you know withholding gunfire I've got AP loaded uh, I just I was just doing basically an experiment I feel like this uh, uh, particular match is doing is going very well, so I can afford a little bit of experimenting, and I wanted to see how the um, Wiskavitas guns will uh, work when engaging a cruiser from the front. So yeah, it's not bad actually. Um, so I see that the um, German cruiser might be going through that gap, and I'm hoping that one of the torpedoes is going to survive this uh, launch. Two of them get stopped by the island. The third one, I think it goes through. Yeah, it does go through. Um, and it uh, makes the cruiser maneuver. As you can see, he's trying to avoid the torpedoes. He just just avoided them now. So I'm looking at him, and uh, I've got still got AP loaded. And I see that he's continuing his turn, and I'm sure he's going to keep going. Now he gets a big hit, so basically I'm just waiting for the right moment. I shoot. And that's a... Um, next cruiser gone. So that's uh, three cruisers so far. Okay, um, so now um, I'm still being spotted by the uh, spotter plane of the... I think I was a Miyoko. Uh, I've switched to HE. Uh, I've only got uh, big heavy ha hard targets uh, ahead of me now. So I take the Congard aim and uh, basically I'm, my goal here is to set him on fire. I don't have to worry about the plane anymore, I've uh, managed to shoot it down. And uh, again, I want to use the island right up in front of me as cover. I uh, I don't want the Congo to have a clear shot on me, so uh, I, I figure he's moving north, so I'm kind of moving south here so that this island protects, protects me. And now you saw a volley coming out from behind the island that uh, gave the Congo's position away. So I get a better idea of uh, where he is and how fast he's moving and uh, what his intention may, intentions might be. I set my guns to wait for me on the right side as I'm expecting to be engaging the Congo soon. I'm changing course to move north now. I need to be mindful of that in New York. Uh, the York has got very slow moving turrets but uh, he does carry a punch, so uh, I don't want to be caught in the open by, by those guns. So I start to engage the Congo again, and doing some damage uh, with my HE, uh, but no fires, and that's a little bit disappointing. I'm watching very closely the direction the Congo guns are being pointed at, and uh, I think I got a feeling that he might actually be... Um, trying to get an aim on me, so um, I slowed down and uh, maneuvered a little bit. I did disappear, but um, I shot my guns too recently, and uh, I will be get spotted once I get from behind this island. Uh, the Congo is on fire though, which is good. And now I'm basically waiting for the Congo to extinguish the fires, then I want to give it 20 seconds and set it on fire again, and that's going to be free damage for me. 
Uh, at that point, I will switch targets because, uh, it, well, that's free damage. So Conga still on fire. I managed to avoid uh, its fire. I was waiting for it, and you know, the moment I saw the muzzle flashes, I basically slowed down and made a hard turn. So uh, as you could see, I've uh, set the Congo on fire again. But as the Congo was just using its uh, damage uh, control uh, consumable and it was still active, the fire got put out very quickly, and uh, I need to try again. But I see there's another battleship coming down from behind that island, and I cannot hang around here. Um, I don't have enough health, and I believe it's Nagato, and... Uh, is it a Nagato? No, that's the... yeah, no, it's another Congo. So, um, yeah, but anyway, it's 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 a dangerous enough uh, ship for me, so... Uh, I'm moving away. I'm, I'm, set, I'm using the um, smoke screen, basically to create a smoke screen for myself for all those ships to my right. Um, I want them to be a bit more hesitant about approaching this direction and uh, smoke screen should actually achieve this. So I'm not spotting it anymore. I'm uh, way beyond the spotting range of this destroyer and I just moved into the cap. And the situation now is that uh, the York is uh, moving in on me and uh, I feel like he's going to try to make a move and I'm right now I'm contemplating whether or not I should quickly turn around and uh, dive into that smoke and uh, uh, surprise the York from uh, a really short distance. Um, I open up on the York which I'm still not sure I should have, maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have withheld fire but uh, it seemed like the other ships were occupied and I know that the Wiscavice guns can actually do a lot of damage to a cruiser, especially a cruiser that hasn't taken much uh, fire damage uh, so far in the game. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm taking um, torpedo solution on the York, uh, just in case he was a complete idiot and uh, he actually was sailing in a straight line. But uh, now I see that uh, there is a spotter airplane right above the torpedoes right now, so I'm pretty sure that the torpedoes have been spotted and will be spotted for the entirety of their um, um, entirety of their run. So um, popping out from behind that island now that now that the York is uh, maneuvering to avoid the torpedoes. And this position he's toast again. Uh, I've got a really good uh, uh, shooting angle here at him. With uh, HE, I'm doing a really short work on him, and uh, that's the Confederate War, which is always a good uh, addition to my post uh, battle results. The York's on fire, and basically, what I'm doing now is just a formality. He would have died anyway. So, again, I'm really close to this Congo, and it's uh, uh, one of the last three ships on the enemy team. So, I'm sort of hiding using this island to, to hide myself. And I want to do the same thing, I want to torpedo the Congo, but uh, I don't want him to spot me, so I'm kind of maneuvering here, kind of bumping my, uh, the front of my ship against this uh, cove, uh, basically to avoid uh, being spotted by the Congo for as long as possible. I'm already out of smoke, uh, so I can't hide, and I'm close enough to be spotted, so yeah. I even use the... Um, engine boost right now just just to get myself a little bit of a kick uh, turn like hide behind that uh, cove a little bit faster uh, but now I noticed that the Congo is engaging somebody else with his guns so uh, it's going to be quite easy I open up on the Congo just to set it fire and you know add to the damage he eats three of my torpedoes from the first spread and uh, the first torpedo from the second one uh, finishes it off and uh, well I mean you cannot get a uh, a more textbook textbook of a kill than than this. So that's five kills so far and seven torpedoes uh, have hit the target. I'm quite proud of the ten uh, citadel heads that I managed to score and uh, the moment I noticed that the other Congo is engaging somebody to the north uh, um, I open up again uh, to set uh, the ship on fire and my first volley does this. I'm really on low health, health so I, I need to make sure that I only shoot 
when either both of the ships have uh, already shot. Um, the, I have 30 second windows before the shot between the shots, or um, be far enough to be able to do some uh, invisi firing, which is possible in the Puskavica even without uh, having the fifth uh, captain's perk, uh, the spotting perk. Uh, there is a really tight window, but you can't do this. So the gun goes on fire, and um, I'm thinking maybe I should uh, leave it to its devices. Uh, and uh, just let it burn, but this is where I noticed that it actually just extinguished the fire, so it's, it's a shame, it's a really shame. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit greedy right now, because the, the 1500 uh, health points that the Congo has, I know I can take it off, I can put it off, and I could just bug myself another kill, which would be really good. Um, I'm having a good game so far, and uh, like I said, I'm getting a little bit greedy here, so uh, I checked the guns on Nagato, he's uh, engaging somebody else. And I open up on the Congo. Two minutes left till the end of the match. Uh, the first volley looks good. And I do score a hit, but uh, no damage and no fire, well, unfortunately, which is really, really bad. Uh, the Congo returns fire. And I'm still okay, but uh, um, I, I slip up here. I should have uh, looked at the Nagato's guns again, and this is where he kills me. And uh, it's only. A minute and 50 seconds left till the end of the match and we have a huge point advantage so I write in the chat to the Colorado player to just make him realize in case he didn't uh, that uh, all he needs to do is just survive to the end of the battle and we've won uh, but then I look at the, the carrier in the south and there's no way those two battleships will uh, manage to close that distance so it's basically a, an absolute 100% sure win, so I'm gonna save you the wait and move on to the post battle results screen. So there you go, um, it's, it's been a pretty decent game for me. Uh, 5 kills, 7 torpedo hits, 10 citadel hits. Uh, I've managed to set uh, sh 8 ships on fire, or rather set the uh, ships on fire 8 times. 186 hits on target. Uh, Confederate award, which is really good. The high caliber as well, really good. Uh, 473,000 and 8,000 uh, uh, experience, and that uh, translates into uh, just shy of 2,200 uh, base experience and the first place on my team. And damage wise, this has been a monster game for me for, for uh, the Buscavica. I've done a shit lot of damage. Um, just have a look at uh, the AP and the HE difference. So, with the AP, I've only managed to score 47 hits, and uh, those 47 hits gave me uh, just um, just shy of uh, 34,000 of damage. So this compares to the 42,000. 42,500 of HE uh, damage from uh, 150 hits, 149 hits. Um, that's you know that's quite a big difference, isn't it? But obviously you also have to count the 20, just shy of 21,000 of uh, fire damage that uh, should be included in the HE damage. And uh, 59,000 in torpedoes. That's uh, awesome. So let me just count this up. Okay, so the total damage comes to just shy of uh, 158,000. It's uh, 157,000 and change. And uh, yeah, it's 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 an excellent result. Uh, but uh, again, uh, it's the the Buscavica, It is a premium destroyer, and it also brings you a hell of a lot of money. Um, it's nowhere near the Atago levels. Uh, Atago uh, can give you a lot of money, but uh, but yeah, the Buscavica is really good at it as well. Uh, 470,000 of uh, pure profit after all the repairs and refits. Uh, well, that's that's really good. It's a tier seven premium, so I mean, it's a premium, so you don't really you don't really pay that much for uh, repairs. So yeah, I, um, I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this video and uh, maybe you managed to actually learn something from it as well on how to use the Buscovita in combat. I have to admit the 
conditions here were uh, just ideal for me to uh, wreak havoc uh, among the enemy team. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please uh, give it a like down below. It definitely helps the channel out. It keeps me motivated to come up with new content. And uh, also, if you'd like to see more of my uh, videos uh, that I will should be putting up soon, uh, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. And uh, I'll uh, see you on the open seas. So now I'm thinking the next target should be, my, uh, should be the New Mexico. I'm almost within torpedo range and it looks like New Mexico is moving out on the slow but it, uh, in a straight line. So uh, I'm moving to that smoke. Um, I'm instantly disappearing and this is the moment where the enemy carrier makes a really surprising drop on me. I, I wasn't expecting that. I thought that these, the torpedo bombers were empty. So I am not only managed to escape it. Uh, I'm keeping my AA on because uh, I'm in the smoke right now and as you can see my, my spotted icon does not light up. Uh, and this is where the Furutaka shows up, only 5 kilometers away, it's uh, just perfect ground for me, perfect target. And since she's so close uh, I'm going to use my AP on, on the Furutaka as well, for at least as long as uh, it's being spotted. So I take aim. And those AP shells, they're basically supposed to be a distraction. You know, if you get hit like so as heavy as, as the Furutaka did just now, you start looking around, you, you don't care about maneuvering as, as much, you just want to establish where the threat is, and that's how you miss the incoming torpedoes and get yourself killed. Okay, so now with the Furutaka gone, I'm looking for uh, other targets. I want to do the same thing, use the AP as a distraction. And take the uh, Miyoko out. So she takes, she eats two of my torpedoes. I actually mess up this volley, uh, it's unbelievable. Two and a half kilometers and I can't shoot too straight. And um, yeah, that's the Miyoko gun. So, uh, so far we've had a, a destroyer and two cruisers killed. And I'm close enough to the, what is this, uh, Nuremberg. I'm close enough to the Nuremberg to um, open up on it and I'm being spotted regardless of whether or not I'm shooting so I yeah, see no point in you know, withholding gunfire. I've got AP loaded, uh, I, just, I was just doing basically an experiment. I feel like this uh, uh, particular match is, doing, is going very well so I can afford a little bit of experimenting and I wanted to see how the um, Wiscovitas guns will uh, work when engaging a cruiser from the front, so yeah, it's not bad actually. Um, so I see that the um, German cruiser might be going through that gap and I'm hoping that one of the torpedoes is going to survive this uh, launch. Two of them get stopped by the island to my uh, spotting range, I'm being spotted by him now. And I can see that he's turning his guns towards me, so uh, I don't have much time, but I open up a couple of times on uh, on it using uh, HE and AP mixes. Um, AP isn't doing that well. I get hit and set on fire, but I do not uh, use the extinguisher yet. I'm just uh, setting up smoke first, making sure that I'm hidden. Get hit again. And now that I'm in smoke and uh, I, there is no chance I'm gonna get spotted again for a while, I repair my damage and uh, move on to the next uh, target, which is the incoming Fujin, 5.5 kilometers. Uh, this should be an easy kill. Um, I'm not even uh, going to try to maneuver too hard because I have a feeling that uh, the Fujin is going to try to torpedo the um, friendly destroyer, and there it is, the Nicholas. So he's, he's stopping him now, uh, the Nicholas is dead, but uh, so is the Fujin, there is no way he's going to escape me now. Uh, the torpedo reload on the Fujin, uh, I'm guessing it is the same as on the Minikaze, but uh, yeah, there's no chance he can make it. Hey guys and welcome to World of Warships with Bulevu. Today I've got a replay from uh, my yesterday's uh, random battles in the World of Warships. I'm playing the T7 with Kavica and uh, I've uh, 
been put in a match that is mainly consisting of uh, tier 6s and tier 5s. So, um, uh, I'm a happy bunny and uh, it might actually, I'm, I have got a feeling that it might be one of them uh, seal clubbing videos again. I'm going towards this island uh, expecting uh, enemy destroyers to show up. There are two enemy destroyers, both of them tier 5s. One of them is the Minikaze and uh, the other one is uh, the Fujin, which is the premium version of the Minikaze that was available a couple of weeks ago. So I was kind of sneaking up behind this island, I wanted to use it for cover as long as possible and now that I'm getting out, uh, I get a better look at what's going on on the enemy side and looks like uh, there's only one uh, German Königsberg cruiser and that's all, the rest must have went down south so that's what I'm writing in the, in the chat hoping that I get the allies to, to follow me and that, that's where the Königsberg's pop into it's, um, I see that carrier in the north but I mean, it, it is tempting, but that carrier is not going to make a big contribution to um, the enemy team's win. Uh, not at this stage, at least. He, he must have already had an engagement with the friendly carrier. Uh, there must have been some kind of an exchange. Maybe he's low on planes already. So, yeah. Um, yeah, he's not a big threat. So, I'm lo I look at the map and I see a cruiser coming in. Moving in on the, on the far side of the bigger island. Of the two islands uh, south to me, and the moment I spot him, I uh, I check it out. It's a Miyoko, and uh, I, I take him as my next target. So I want to do the similar thing as with the Furutaka. The islands right in front of me they provide a perfect cover. I can uh, get really close, and as long as the bomber above the Miyoko is spotting it for me, I can uh, move behind those islands and still use the prediction cone of the torpedo. Um, targeting cone um, to basically gauge the Miyoko's progress and you know know when I should be turning and you know pre preparing for, for attack. So I launched the launch those torpedoes. The second one is a bit blind but you know I remember exactly where it was. AP loaded again and uh, I 